everyone, long time no see. I'm Casey and this is Greg. And yes, I know what you're thinking. My hair's long. My hair has not been this long. I don't think ever on this channel. I think this is probably the longest y'all have ever seen my hair. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna shave it all off. I'm just, I'm just going to shave it off <laughs> one day. Right, Greg? Anyways, today I'm going to be creating, yes, you saw the title already, it's true, another animation. I think it's my current obsession. I don't have the patience to create really long animations, like longer than 10 seconds, but I really do enjoy creating these really short, cute, powerful looping animations or GIFs. I've created so many for my Twitch channel like this, in this, in that, in this one. And especially this one, look at him go. He's just going for it. Wow. So in today's video, we're going to be animating all three of my characters. That's right, Hatch, Dennis, and Owlina are back. But the twist is that I will be adding inspiration from one random emote. I'm excited to see what we come up with because I know it's going to be a little weird, a little bit silly, a little bit fun. So let's get into it. If you're a regular to my channel, you're probably already familiar with my three characters. We have Hatch, the little bunny plushy character. We have Dennis, the pantalope. He's a big soft boy. Oh my gosh, I drew both of those horns very differently. And of course, Alina, the least loved because well, I'll be honest, she's just a human and it's kind of boring. Sorry, Alina. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick our random emojis for our character walks all to be inspired by. We have Sleepy. Okay, so we will create a walk cycle of Hatch sleepwalking. First things first with any art project ever, sketching. Drawing Hatch tired or sleepwalking is something I don't think I've ever done. So I need to think of how Hatch would walk if they were sleepy. Will they be hunched over? Whoa. <laughs> how does the way they walk affect their tail? Does it slink like a snake? Does it bob? Maybe they walk more with their head back. That, that is terrifying, but that might be kind of funny if, you know, he's just so cute and innocent and he walks like a zombie when he's asleep. I definitely like this head back situation more. It's so creepy and silly. I absolutely love it. I think this is definitely going to be the one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I was just sort of getting an idea of what I wanted to do on this one. So I wouldn't really count this as a frame. This is more of, um, more of an idea. So as you can see, I'm a little over halfway done. It's a little, you could say it's a little sketchy. Um, it's a little rough. Okay. Our very rough, um, sketch of Hatch fumbling around half asleep. Normally when someone walks, they pick up their feet, but because Hatch is half asleep or sleepwalking, probably completely asleep, I kind of got them to sort of drag in their foot because they're sleepy. So it's not the most energetic, but I tried to give it as much personality as my patience would allow. <laughs> I also didn't mention this before, but I did lower the frame rate from 12 to nine. I just felt like, oh no, I went 12 to five. It just seemed for someone sleepwalking, that's a lot. Ooh, you know what? I wanna, his hands aren't quite moving as much as I would like them to. <laughs> so I guess making it move faster made me more aware of that. Okay, their right arm, it's a little dramatic, but I mean, they're asleep. I don't, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I think when Hatch is at their highest height, I'm gonna make it like a smooth tube. <laughs> and then when they're at their lowest, so that would be this frame, I'm gonna have it squish a little bit, I guess. Does that make any sense? Maybe, you know, there's only one way to find out. Just do it. I feel like honestly, realistically, it would just sort of be dragging behind them and just like a nice solid line without really being wrinkled. But I feel like it needs the wrinkle to add personality and extra something, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. You know, one detail we need, we need a little Z's coming off of Hatch. Oh my God. Okay. Is it too slow? I feel like it can't be too slow. They're sleeping. You don't want it too fast. Maybe six frames. <laughs> that seems so slow. <laughs> I'm happy with this so far. So it is time to start inking this bad boy. So when it came to sketching the illustration, I did a lot of copy and pasting of these, I guess, templated character drawings. I just copy and pasted them. I did a little bit of editing and that was my frame for the sketch. Though when it comes to the actual illustration, I think I'm actually going to 
hand draw each frame. I just think it would be a lot cuter to have it not so neat and tidy and copy and pasted and perfect. I do like some handmade, hand drawn, handmade. I think they, they look the best, especially because I'm not animation master. And I do think that embracing your noobness and just accepting that, you know, it's not perfect. I'm starting to feel like Hatch, so I've busted out the tea and um, we're gonna continue. I forgot to mention to you guys that I added a little bit of dribble to Hatch. You can see it sort of come off a little bit. I, I didn't even notice the details, so it's obviously a very small one, but maybe it adds just a little, a little something. It's not perfect, but I'm really happy with it so far, so I'm going to start dropping color in here. This is going to be quite the process. I'm gonna to try to keep it as flat as possible, but we will see, we will see. All right, there we go. We have our first frame colored. Simple shading has been added. I don't think I'm gonna add any more shading aside from just like the pieces that are farther back. So that's probably gonna be as, as much detail as I'm gonna add. So it is definitely just an old grind and color from here on out. Every layer is officially colored. Boop. Oh my gosh, it just looks so much more alive. It just, it didn't look like Hatch before, now it does. This might not be the most perfect walk cycle ever, but I think it's really adorable. For someone like me that doesn't animate often, if I can make this, I'm happy. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. If you somehow don't know what Skillshare is, it's where you go to learn anything. Well, a lot of things. Thousands of online classes by creatives just like me and you, baking, illustration, photography, you name it, they've got it. Yes, my current obsession is animation. And although it was always just something I dabbled in for fun, I actually kind of want to get better at it. So guess what I did? I went to Skillshare and I learned how to animate a little better on Procreate. Danny Fisher Shin's class on animating Procreate is perfect for me because because I refuse to use anything else. Nothing beats learning animation from an animator or baking from a baker. Danny had so many tips and tricks that I didn't even know you could do on Procreate. Did I improve today? Maybe not, but I will over time. You too can learn something new. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, learn something new, get inspired, get creative. And with that, let's get back to animating. Our random emoji for Dennis's walk cycle will be a star, like a space walk cycle. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that walk cycle really took uh, a lot out of me. So I'm kind of interested to see how little animating I can do to really maximize a sort of like animation. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's see, how are we gonna start this one? Let's just start with a circle. We're gonna do a background. We haven't had a background yet. So let's add some stars, make this look like space. Okay, let's just pretend this is our beautiful space background for now. It's, it's for the sketch process. So because our prompt was star, obviously we already have some stars here, but what if Dennis was riding a star? Oh my God, how do I draw? Oh no, if you thought drawing a star was hard, wait until you have to draw one with perspective. Honestly? I was like, mm, not that bad. No, it's getting worse. <laughs> I'm trying to correct it. It's just getting worse. Look at it. Look at it go. Is that too fast? I've been really animating slow today. Maybe we need another one. Okay, <laughs> we have our floating star. Does it look like it's floating? That's pretty good, right? Okay, so we have our stars. So now I want, I want a Dennis riding those stars. Okay, that was definitely unnecessary to make all those, but... Oh my God. Look at those little ears. Look at those little ears. Oh my God. Okay, this is really simple so far. It's basically two frames. And the only difference is that the ears wiggle, but that's not all we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and my goodness, line work and color all two of these layers. And I'm gonna go ahead, put those together. And then after that is when this GIF or animation really comes to life, I think. Okay, a little bit of a Christmas vibe situation happening. We've got this star with red and green. Now that's interesting looking. It looks like a weird 3D star. Anyways, let's see what we've got so far. Oh my goodness. I'll be honest, the shaking hairs to sort of help make it look like the wind is blowing in his hair. It's not the best effect, but it's doing the job. Look how cute this 
pieces. Okay, here is our new background. Is it a little much? Uh-oh, do we tone it down? Like 50%? Honestly, I kind of like that Dennis kind of pops off the background if he's the brightest thing in the sky, so I don't hate it. Though I do wonder if we just had a couple of white stars out there. Just a couple? Okay, so for our shooting stars, I think what I'm going to do is just make them white so that I don't have to worry about them actually appearing and then disappearing off of the gif. And I think I'm going to make them really simple, like just a, like just a smudge. It's just a fast little smudge flying by. Okay, let's see how our first shooting star thing is. Boop. Okay. You know, it's not that fast, but maybe the ones in front of Dennis will move faster. Okay, let's see. How's this one look? Oh my gosh. Now, now I'm going to add like 20 of these guys and it's gonna be great. Here we go. Well, if I thought it looked like Christmas before, Look at it now! There are red and green stars shooting through the sky, which is not what I did. This is it though. I think this is it. I think I'm done. Maybe. I guess we'll find out when I watch it with y'all. Here we go. Oh. oh. My god. That might be too many stars shooting through the sky, but look at it! This actually looks like my art come alive because I so often create these circles of space. Traditionally, digitally and now it's animated Lee, which is super cute, super fun to see. And with that, it's time for our third and final animation. And last but not least, Avelina's inspired emoji will be a cat. I actually have no idea what to do. Okay, I think I have finally figured out what to do with Alina. I don't know why she's always such a struggle. Makes me feel really bad. Basically, she's gonna be flying through the air <laughs> with a little kitty on her back. So yeah, it's gonna be a very simple one, but hopefully very cute. Okay, so this is the rough I've come up with. We do have a slight two frame wiggle with Alina's clothes and hair and then the kitty. We also have a slight two frame wiggle on the ears and then the tail, the tail is something else. That's right, a whole whopping six frames on that tail. Look at it go, look at it go. Okay, so I've got a flower. <gasps> I mean, it's cute, but I think, I think I'm just gonna put a shadow down there and call it a day. Wow, is it possible that this illustration is making me like Alina? She's adorable here. I feel like my style has changed since I last drew her. I don't know how making her feet wiggle a little bit will look. I'm afraid it's gonna look a little goofy and silly like she's wiggling her feet. I do want it to look like they're sort of blowing in the wind. So I guess, I guess we'll see what that looks like. Okay, I think it looks goofy, but I think I'm gonna see what it looks like. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, my two frames that I want to repeat for Alina are complete. I just need to color them, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I do our kitty, because our kitty has a few more layers, and I just feel like it'd be easier to put Alina in and then add our cat. Okay, here it is. We have, well, it's not done. We just have the Alina bit, and we're going to add our cat. It's pretty good. I mean, for a two frame situation, it's, get, it's getting the job done. Now for the kitty cat, I was actually thinking I would go super simple and just create a black cat. So sadly, it kind of seems like because of how fluid the cat is, Alina just looks really choppy and sad, but you know what? And I just now realized that the kitty's leg is getting cut off. My goodness, let me fix that. Okay, our kitty's leg now exists. And here we are, our finished Alina gift. Pew! Well, my brain is fried, but look at these cute gifts. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you had fun watching me animate some silly animations. Don't forget to check out Skillshare to learn some stuff, get creative. Link in the description. Thank you so much to Skillshare for inspiring this video. No, they sponsored this video. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.